Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. <laughs> We're going to try to get a good start on things today. Our beans are so close, it's nerve wracking. So anyhow, I'm going to take and go over to Coles here in a little bit and see if we can get a tractor hooked up to a big auger, try to get things set up, a big auger to us. A lot of people, our augers are not that big, so I don't want to misrepresent ourselves there. We're going to set up a 10 inch auger to a big bend and get set up. So hopefully tomorrow the sun's supposed to be out strong and I'm hoping we can get some beans out. Boys, women, remember them good old days? Older than heck. You gotta get on a open tractor, no cab, and drive it from one farm to the other. Well, I'm just getting ready to make that journey. And I wish I was in a cab tractor. It's about 38 degrees. Yeehaw! Pure power. Pedal tractor, that is. Look at him in there in his big machine. Hi, Cole. Morning. I need to take this down there and lift up the auger. It's always breaking stuff. Always. Tiger cat. Hey, come here. What are you doing? I always like to make sure before we slide a hose into a hydraulic, we like to make sure they're clean so we don't get the dirt and stuff into our oils. Otherwise, it's like sandpaper that gets sand in your teeth. Not good on stuff. This auger's got a hydraulic lift on it, so no cranking on this one. It's a long way down there. There we have it. Apparently something's acting goofy on the Oliver again because the battery's dead. Let's see if I can go find some jumper cables. I know I have some in my Geo, but I always put a pair in the truck, but every time Dad cleans out the truck, which is once and every never, but when he cleans it out, he always takes out the jumper cables. So when we need jumper cables, we don't have jumper cables. I'm serious, Dad doesn't clean out the vehicles, but he just takes the jumper cables out. And I'm like, what's the... There's no point of having jumper cables in the shop. You need them in a vehicle. <laughs> It's not that likely that the battery's bad, but we took it off, we're gonna take it in, get it tested to make sure it is okay. If it's not the battery, it's probably the starter. Another example of a five minute job that takes five hours. And that's firming though. The battery tested just fine, so looks like it's the other thing we think it is, but we're not really sure, so we're gonna try to tear some stuff apart and see. Decided to put the tire back on the red truck here, that way we can throw stuff in the back of this truck because we gotta get a few things here from the main heated shop, then we'll head back over to the main farm, get working on some stuff there. I think Cooper's over there working on some stuff right now, but not really entirely sure what he's all up to. Battery charger. Anna! Hey girl. Hi Anna. Hi girl. Well, now that my daughter is helping Cole do some of the editing, I thought maybe we should do something really stupid just to make her feel funny. But I don't know what to do. 
She's the type of the girl that she laughs about anything. If you happen to notice any flaws or if I look goofy on the uh, screen that you're looking at, it could be because she doesn't know what she's doing. Or maybe your TV's getting bummed up or something. So speaking of TV, might not hurt to get a new TV pretty soon because we got some really good stuff coming out and we're gonna be like, hopefully doing an excellent job. It's weird, we put the battery back on, hit the key and it fired right up. Something's not right. It's just hard to diagnose when it doesn't do it every time. Don't worry, we run into this kind of stuff a lot. Give it a couple days, it'll break again. digging for Anna. What you digging for? Might be digging for a while Anna. Hey you got a mouthful of dirt. What are you doing? You got a mouthful of dirt. When Anna finds a raccoon, a possum, mouse, rat, groundhog, look out she is ferocious. Now if a cat comes around <laughs> she's terrified. We're gonna pull a semi over this to see if we can get it under the semi. We want to put beans in this bin and we don't have to run beans through the dryer, so we'll be direct filling them with this yellow auger here. Hopefully this works. We're going to take the skid loader under there, see if we can take out about 8 inches so that way we'll have a little more room for that to go under, but this should work. We just cleared out this path through here a few days ago, so we're going to try turning the semi around and coming through this way to see if that's a little better way to get up to the auger. This is all new for us. There used to be burnt combines here ever since the day I was born. Exciting stuff. I got some stuff, I don't remember what it was called or what truck I put in that day. Some stuff from, I think it was Napa, that you kind of put in your brake lines and it's supposed to help heat up corrosion and stuff. Watching coal or watching Anna dig. I agree with you. But I suppose we better go back to watching coal. Look at the look on his face. Heavy, deep concentration. Back to Anna, back to Anna. It might not look the prettiest, but it's gonna work. Hey guys, I'm just gonna throw this out there real quick. Am I the only one who has the problem when you put on a belt and you're right in between the two hole sizes so you gotta punch your own hole and it's kind of a big hassle? Well, I have a solution for you. And that's this bad boy right here. So this came from Trayvax. I don't know if you can read that or not, but made in the USA, but this is a belt right here. All you do is you stick it through this hole and then you can adjust it to whatever size you want it to be and then you just tuck it through the other one now voila, you got a belt. I've been wearing this thing every day for about seven months. It's been holding up extremely well. It's a nice belt. I think this bad boy runs about 30 bucks. If you, they also have different color buckles if you don't like blue. Anyway, if you want to pick one of these up, go to the link in my description. If you use the code CORNSTAR, you'll get 10% off. Well worth it in my opinion. Oh, it is lunchtime, 12 o'clock. I'm on the way to get lunch for me and the boys. So today we are doing pizza. During harvest, if I start to look like a pizza, and we eat a lot of pizza sometimes during harvest, so who's ever closest to an eating place stops and picks up lunch. It's just kind of our nice way to spend a few minutes visiting as a family and any of our good friends that are helping us and stuff. So what was I gonna say? Oh, we had a neighbor that used to say, if you had skipped lunch, 
and you work seven days a week during harvest, you'll actually work eight days a week because you gain another day. I tell you what, I would be bones and I'd be so hungry, then I probably would become grumpy and then the boys would probably run me over with the combine. So I'm gonna feed them. Looks like Cooper's got some more sweeping to do here in the big machine shed. Just gotta go from there all the way down there. Brought some of Cooper's hay equipment over to another farm. I just kind of completely forgot to film it. But anyway, dad had to leave to go do something. Cooper and I are gonna finish working on some of these augers. We got a couple little spots on this auger that are dribbling some grain, so we're gonna patch those up quick. Once we get all this done, we're gonna drive the combine and grain cart over to the field we're gonna combine at tomorrow. So let's hope these five minute jobs actually take five minutes. Good as new. Now, we got a hole up there we gotta fix. This has been covered up with stuff for a long time, but there's actually concrete under it, as you can see right here. So we're going to sweep all this off. There's a lot of little nails and pieces of metal and stuff in here that we want to get off of here, since we're going to be driving semis through here. Cooper's tightening up the swivel on the ag cam real quick. Tossing some antifreeze in it before we go. Looks pretty comfortable. Got the cart out here to the field. Can't forget about the combine. We're bringing everything out in the field tonight so that way in the morning we can just go out and everything's there. Then we don't have to drive everything half an hour there and stuff. And since this field's our furthest farm, it takes half an hour to drive the equipment there. So if we have it all there, then we can just go out and go. Just trying to be a little more efficient with our time. Gonna hook onto the head quick. Just like that, we're hooked up and ready to roll. That was dad who spilled that. That was all dad. Okay, we got everything put away for the night. I'm gonna head in and go to bed. I'm tired. You know what else Cole's good at cleaning up? The Not his dirty dishes. <laughs> no, that's right. Not his dirty dishes. But he's good at cleaning up the leftovers. Yay. And you make fun of what your dad eats? What is that? Hey, hey. All right, so I got roast, mashed potatoes, potatoes, cooked onions, and potato soup. Mm. I'm sure it tastes delicious because I cooked it, but wow. <laughs>